How's it going everyone? This video is going to be about standard deviation projections. Now there are multiple different ways that people use standard deviation projections. This is the way that my friend AM Trade showed me, and so that is what we will be going over. Now what I'm looking for in these projections is some sort of price action running to a higher time frame PD array. I want a short term high formed, move over that high, and then back into the range, shifting structure, bearish. I am then looking for this area right here, the move that took those highs as our manipulation leg. Then I am looking to take my fib from high to low and project targets down off that as we're entering the sell side of the curve. Ideally, I'm looking for the 2 to 2.5 standard deviations as a target and then the fourth standard deviation as a target. And I prefer when there is some sort of PD array or area of liquidity that lines up in those areas to take profit. Another thing I will do is after price hits this fourth standard deviation is look for a retracement back into the range if it makes sense. In this case it does as we ran through the original consolidation and you expect a move back into the range if we don't get displacement down. And before we continue into some examples I will throw the settings up for this fib on the screen right here. For this example, our higher time frame PD array is a one hour fair value gap above here, right? And we have our buy side liquidity resting here. And so as we move towards the open, we want to see how price reacts around in these areas. So we'll drop down to a 15 minute chart and we'll let price play out. See, displacement over this high, likely to go a little bit higher reaching off this order block. And we reach up into our hourly fair value gap. Now we want to see if we get displacement down, which we got there. So now what we want to look for is where is our manipulation leg? And as you get used to this, it'll be easier to see from the higher time frames. but I will go to the five minute for the ease of things and delete this little order block. Now if you look, where did we make a short term high and price break through that high before coming back down and shifting structure bearish right here, right? This would be our manipulation leg. So what we want to do is draw from the high of that to the low of it and use our projection to project out our targets. Now we can zoom out to the 15 and where are we looking for? Well, ideally we are looking for the two, two and a half standard deviation and the four. Well, what do we have near those? Well, we have a little fair value gap above it, but ideally I'd want to see this low ran right around the 2.5, as well as this fourth standard deviation here. So as we let price play out, you can see we took that low. Now remember what I said about these targets is if it makes sense to expect a reaction back in the range, for example, if we don't continue to displace down, this is an area where we could expect a reversal. Now if we continue to the next day, but you can see price eventually came down and hit that fourth standard deviation. For the next example, we're just going to go through some price action on the hourly chart. So what do we have right here? mean threshold of an order block. And if we're drawing out this fair value gap below and the consequent encroachment of that. So what I'd wanna see is some sort of reaction out of these areas. You notice we do have a short term low right here. Price does not close below here and gets an aggressive displacement move out. So if you, where is our manipulation leg? Right here. So drawing a fib from our low to our high and projecting it, where would our targets be? And this is what I mean when I like to see them line up. Our 2.5 lines up almost exactly with this high. So that is good confluence to believe that we are likely to reach for this high. Now if we let hit price continue to play out, There it goes, it reaches for this high, and we'll see if it reaches for this fourth standard deviation, which it does. 
Here is an example of a lower time frame one. So right here, we have a four hour fair value gap here, as well as we just ran this low right here. So going down into something like a two minute, we have a short term low that gets ran into the point of interest. If we get this placement back out, this will be our manipulation leg. So we get this placement back up. We can wait for it to confirm more. Start to put in some bullish structure. Okay, now we're starting to get higher highs and higher lows. So where is our manipulation leg? Right here. And where would we draw our fib from this low to this high? So looking at it, what do we have in this area? Well, we do have a high right here and mark out. And this one may not reach all the way up there, but let's see what happens. There we go. We took that high and we have our projected target of 2.5 being hit. In this last example, we're gonna put it all together. So if we go out to our daily chart, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen it, but I was watching this level right here, which is that order block or where this fair value gap fills at 3948.75. Going down to a 15 minute chart, you can see we're just engineering some liquidity at the lows. We finally break below and come back up. So zooming into our five minute here, where is our manipulation leg? It'd be right here. That's the move that swept these lows. So measuring from low to high, what do we have? Well, we have a second standard deviation target here. We have our one standard deviation target here, but ideally would want these highs ran as well as this liquidity resting in here. So sitting on the five minute, we get a move higher and we take this high as expecting bullish PM session. So with that idea in mind, I wanted a retracement during lunch and then before the PM session or right after right as it starts, I would want a dip down into this fair value gap to go higher. So if I was to put it all together, it would look something like this. I would have looking to enter somewhere in here, stop in this area, right? Ideally, I want an aggressive move out of here. If I don't get it, we're going to fall back. And then I could target our buy side liquidity or our standard deviation target. And if we let this play out, we get a drop into that area, displacement out, down close candle, and then we go higher. And where do we go and hit? We hit that second standard deviation target. So that is an example of when they are useful without structure aligning. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.